Hello there. In this lesson, we're going to learn some different ways to inpu input coordinates using the line and polyline commands. Okay, so, and we are going to cover input relative versus absolute coordinates. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over here to my origin, right? And this is, again, this is the x axis, this is the y axis, and where the green and the red line intersect. The Cartesian coordinate is 0, 0, 0. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out my lines again. And I'm going to just start with a single line. All right. What I'm going to do is read the command line up top here where it says start of line. I'm going to put the start of my line. I'm going to type in the number 0 right here. And I'm going to hit Enter. And you can see what I'm doing is I am drawing a line. And I'm going to, once again, type in where it's asking for the end of the line. I'm going to type in 5, 5, enter. All right. So this line here started at 0, 0, and it ended at 5, 5. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and move this over somewhere out of the way. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and start another line and I'm where it says start of the line I'm going to just randomly click anywhere I want right and where it says end of line I'm gonna once again type in 5 comma 5 enter and what it did is it drew exactly where this previous line had ended in fact I'm gonna repeat that command one more time by going to the line command this time start of line is 0 enter end of line is 5 comma 5 enter so what's happened is both of these have ended and finished at absolute coordinates right the absolute coordinate was 5 comma 5 in relationship to 0 comma 0 right so and again i'm hoping you remember your eighth grade geometry in order to keep up with what we're discussing here all right i'm going to go ahead and start another line and this time i'm going to start my line Oh, I'll actually start it right, no, I'll start it right here, right? And this time, I want it to move 5 in the X and 5 in the Y away from where I am, okay? So this time, where it says end of line, I'm going to type the letter R in front of it, and then I'm going to type 5, 5, enter. And what that did is it just drew a line that was um, 5 in the X and 5 in the Y, away from wherever this particular coordinate here was okay so let's go ahead and draw a few more lines I'm gonna create a polyline this time and I'm gonna start it here and I'm gonna draw five in the X direction I can also just do this I can type in the number five and hit enter and as I do that what I've done is I've constrained the length of this line to be five units in this case millimeters okay so and if I would like it to go absolutely parallel to the x-axis or parallel to the y-axis I can do one of two things I can hold down my shift command my shift key and that locks what's called ortho mode and ortho mode will only allow you to draw in 0 90 uh, 0 or 90 or 180 Right? It will only allow you to snap or draw in these particular um, directions. All right. Now, if I let go of that, I can go ahead and click anywhere, and I can hit Enter to finish that line. And I've randomly drawn a line that was 5 inches or 5 millimeters long. Okay. So that's how you use relative versus absolute coordinates when it comes to drawing a line. All right. I'm going to go ahead and stop the lesson, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.